Isaiah 53 verse 4. This is the Messianic prophecy. Prophecy concerning the Messiah. Four. Let's begin there. Let's not begin reading in verse 1 because you know. Surely He has borne our griefs. That's the Messiah. Carried our sorrows. Yet we did not esteem Him stricken, smitten of God. Smitten of God. God smite Him. God did not smite Himself. Very clear. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. That's not God carrying your sin. That's the Messiah. He sent to bear our sorrow, our grief, our sins, our affliction, our transgression. That's not God. Oh, we are like sheep gone astray, and we have turned everyone to his own, and the Lord hath laid on him. There is a Lord that put on him. Do you see two objects here? The one that will carry your sin, and the one who laid the sin. It's not the same, guys. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Turn with me in verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Who bruised him? The Lord. He hath put him to grief. Is it the same person talking here? Huh? Is it God bruising himself? When thou shalt make a soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, and he shall prolong his days, and the pleasures of the Lord shall prosper the land. Why? Because once God's required sacrifice is offered, then it will suffice his righteousness, and he will be pleased, and he will have the means whereby to release, set free, buy back, Forgive, pardon, and throw in the sea of forgottenness the sins of those who will accept His offer of salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. So it was God who brought us back to Himself. By sending his son, not himself. 